Hey guys, let's uh, let's just jump into it. <sighs> to say the least, it's disappointing. To speak honestly, I'm angry. I'm trying really hard. You know, I've had some setbacks in the last couple weeks because I've been sick, so that has made it tougher. But I mean, I see stories of people all the time saying that they're just doing mural placement. They didn't change their activity level significantly and they're losing so much weight. I'm not angry at those people. I'm happy for them. I celebrate them and I congratulate them. That's amazing. <laughs> but it's hard to watch when it's not happening for you. To be quite honest, it's, it's made it difficult to want to make these videos. I envision these videos being celebrations of success. You know, that's the golden idea I had in my head when I started. But so far, it's been talking about failure. And maybe that's a good lesson for all this. It's important to remember that failure is where growth happens. But when you're not seeing the growth happen and it feels like it's just failure for no reason, it's tough. It's tough to not want to give up. So I think I'm going to change course with these videos a little bit. I intended early on for them to be like fitness guru type videos, advice kind of thing. I think what is going to be easier for me to do is going to make more sense for who I am and how the course of this has been going is going to be more like a, a diary. I think fitness advice videos were a little ambitious for who I am. I don't know anything. It's uh, It's been hard. Being sick made it so I couldn't go to the gym. And I was doing the meal replacement and eating healthy around that, but my body's just not responding. Uh, being a, a young father to a two-year-old in a marriage where I really, 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 really like spending time with my wife, having a full-time job, essentially what amounts to the hours of a part-time job making these videos, it's tough to find time to go to the gym and not feel like I'm giving something up. So I think what I need to do is I need to find time at night to go to the gym. Not only do I have more time then, but but I think my body tends to like being active after dark. So yeah, this is I guess this is gonna be the new format. Gonna be less talking about a topic and what I know about it and more personal updates. It's gonna be more real, I guess. Maybe less fun to watch. <laughs> But hey, at least I'm not hacking up a lung this time like the last two weeks. I think I'm also the kind of person that tends to respond to negative motivation. I grew up playing baseball. A good amount of the coaches that I had growing up were negative motivators. You know, in sports you find that a lot. And I grew up with that. So it's unfortunate, but I think it's just kind of ingrained in who I am. All that to say, I was searching for videos of our honeymoon and I stumbled across this video. Hi, my love. I wanted to leave you this video for when you got home. So you would have something to come home to. Other than a little menace. It's a video from 2012. I was 20, and I thought I was overweight then. If I could travel back in time, I would go to that moment, slap that kid in the face, and say, look what's going to happen to you. Take better care of your body. That was a bit of negative motivation for me, and it's been helping in the last week, honestly. It's giving me a little slight kick in the pants. But it's tough. It's tough when you feel like you've got no time. It's tough when you're not seeing results happen. It's tough when you think you're doing the right things based on all the research you've done and it's not working. So that's that. Please, please, please give me any advice you have on fighting feelings like this. I need some help. 